In this sequence, Merida gets her first day off, which I wanted to be really exciting and super colorful and super vibrant. And from the first shot where she pops up with her hair, all a mess to really show off this is who Merida is. She isn't your typical princess as her mother wants her to be. The sequence is about movement. The dynamics of her personality reflected in not only her design with her hair, but the dynamics of riding the horse, using her bow, shooting these targets. This is the world. This is where Merida wants to be. So we go into the forest and there's many different forest sets that we've kind of blended together into one big set. And we had such a massive amount of locations to shoot we would just take the cameras through the different parts of the forest and go, ooh, this would be great to shoot this shot here where she's running along, and ooh, this gully's great, let's just put a log here and dress it in. So they're all very different areas and locations, and it was like going out on a real live action shoot to get these locations. This is our river sequence. This is one of the big set pieces of the film. The water in Scotland when we visited had a unique quality. It was very dark, it was that very tea colored, and we wanted to get that quality. Building this set and having the water do what it needs to do and not flow that fast and have the falls and then the fish and all the interaction, we knew this was going to be a big challenge. When you're developing a movie and you're working on a story, things change. This is one of the sequences that we had to lock down fairly early because it would take so much lead time to get the water just right. To bring these characters more together, I found from my own experience as being a father, is in play. When I'm playing with my kids, that whole dynamic of parent-child kind of goes away. So we're seeing each of these characters as who they really are. And that's a magical moment. So the setting had to be as equally magical. More do. Kill it! This scene's one of my favorite scenes, just because of the theatrical lighting. This is the climax. It's a very dark story. The dark lighting in this scene represents that aspect. She's fighting a monster, and that's one thing I wanted with Mordu as the bear, is that it wasn't a bear, it was a monster. It was a villain, it was a corrupted entity. <laughs> So that when mom finally explodes out of those ropes and goes after Mordu, you can see kind of the two halves of ourselves. You can see the good and the pure versus the corrupt. One reason why we chose mom to be a bear was because for this reason, that a mom bear will stop at nothing to protect her child. Putting Merida in this grave danger just gets mom bear, who seems helpless moments before all tied up, to really show Merida what kind of mother she is that she would risk her own self to save her daughter. And Merida needs to see that illustrated dramatically in this scene to make their healing absolutely complete. Well, what really sells the weight and everything of the bear is all that extra stuff on them, not only the fur, but of the things that we created for this movie, of the volumetrics that power the skin and the muscle and the flesh underneath that fur to get that right amount of jiggle and overlapping action, which really gives these bears this colossal sense of weight and mass. Everybody loved working on Brave. I think one thing that was very inspiring was the darker, more super dramatic nature of the story material because of the assets that they got to build and the overall look by the end was something very unique that we hadn't done before. 